And the one thing that's up in the air is also the allergy counts. And how many of us were outside yesterday? Oh, yeah, you had to get outside. I mean, you had to get mm -hmm. outside and get a little bit of the vitamin D. It was the first time we saw a good afternoon of sunshine in days here in Kansas City. But we will be keeping a very close eye on our allergy counts. Now, this is the very latest information coming in from Children's Mercy over the last 24 hours. Both the mold and the pollen are low, but we expect here in the days and weeks to come that these numbers will be climbing obviously as things are blooming across our area and I even just noticed the last couple of days things looking a lot greener outside and folks mowing in the neighborhoods yesterday afternoon so there's just a lot more pollens in the air that are going to develop as you would expect for this time of year here in Kansas City. Now in terms of our outdoor forecast for getting outside on the deck walking around the neighborhoods for today to get some fresh air this morning cloudy skies jackets will be needed there's certainly going to be a little brisk in the air as we're heading into this afternoon 65 degrees for Kansas City. Most of us just cloudy skies for today, but I do have a 20% chance of just an isolated light shower as we're heading into this afternoon. Then all eyes very closely on live power Doppler late tonight. This is new this morning from the storms prediction center. The southern tier of our viewing area from 50 highway Sedalia, Warrensburg, Clinton, Harrisonville extending very close to Gardner and down through Ottawa. Now the risk that as we're watching thunderstorms potentially develop late tonight, some of these could be strong and severe. And that's exactly what the latest update of your Storm Track 5 forecast has. Dry for both the bulk of us from now through the time you go to bed. But while you're sleeping tonight, this is 2 a.m. tomorrow morning, we'll see a cluster of thunderstorms. Some of these could have hail with them overnight tonight. Then the same setup Friday and into Saturday. Friday, isolated little showers of potential during the day, but then again, Friday. Friday late evening into early Saturday morning. Another good complex of thunderstorms that could also be strong overnight Friday into early Saturday morning. For those waves of thunderstorms expected, we do have a Storm Track 5 weather alert posted. Here's a look at your Security Bank 7 day forecast. I do think that these storms will be first thing Saturday morning, then the bulk of your weekend dry with highs in the 60s. Over to you, Joe.